Hello, Tim. Welcome. Welcome, stranger. Ah, not enough cash, stranger. Anyway, we're back. Um, I doubt Brandon watched the last video. I have been struggling to watch anything. Not struggling to play on your fucking guitar, though. Yeah. Or You're promoting right. another D and D. Yeah, how dare you? They don't need the assist. No, sure. what your shit? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize it was really. <laughs> <laughs> hold, shit, hold on, I'll I'll find the one that I have that says like bio villain on it. I'll promote Dimension Twenty's Escape from Bloodkeep. Um. <clears throat> Brandon, Brendan Lee Mulligan is a far superior GM to, than Matt Mercer. I just don't said want it. To mention said it. I've said it. No, this is me looking right into the camera. Get in the comments. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so last time, um, at the beginning of the, the, the episode, it was a while ago now, uh, stuff was not going well for the group. Um, so people escaped to the underground cave in the Bandit Keep, um, and then everybody got a message asking if they wanted to use their one free use of humans. Let me pull that up. I have some. <laughs> I forgot to write down the whole thing. Uh, humans is heavy unmanned magitronic assault neo steel system. Um, everybody said yes, yeah, or most of the people said yes. Thing came. Nobody saw it because everybody who was still al alive or conscious was in the cave underneath. So something smashed into the ground, fucked up all of the bandits, rezzed the two, well, player and NPC that were there using their one free resurrection. Um, and then it flew away, one would assume. Um, surveyed the damage, which the damage was beautiful. Uh, the, Oh, no, I still got it <laughs> with, with the crater. <laughs> extensive is a, is an appropriate answer, but beautiful is slightly more accurate. Beautifully extensive. Um, also, you'll notice that I've changed up how things look. I'm going to try it this way so that people can see. It's not just all, just our faces. People can see the, the field of combat as well. Uh, cool thing is, is you're watching it from my perspective, so... You get to see things that the players don't get to see. Wahaha, players. Um, all right. Where was it? There we go. Uh, after that, you you all went back to um, – you met up with the, the people that had been kidnapped, and you made your way back to the village. Um, spent the rest of the day chilling and helping around town. Um seeing Draziel running around doing way too many things uh, and gave a report to yeah, I, mean, I can't remember his name uh, Reginald the bronze dragonborn who is the leader of the rebuilding efforts uh, he you met with him and then he actually asked if like knowing that you guys just came back but that there's you know more stuff that he needs you to do and he sent you um north north ish i mean on here so so on the map this is the, this is what the village looks like um i think the intent is that to the south is where the castle is it is off screen you can't see it um i used a, a place that does auto makes maps so the name is not sandbridge that's just the name that they picked um but the castle is, you know, like a couple miles south of the village. Um, and then, so you came from the east originally, um, since that's where the, the truck built, guild came from. Um, and so when you left to go to the keep, you went west and it, it eventually goes north. Um, so 
Um, and then you were asked to go to a druid grove. The I'm not going to feel bad about not remembering everything. Um, Amethyst Glade. Um, they've that's where some of the the dragon kin that were um, displaced fifty years ago. That's where some of them ended up. Um, and so you you were sent with a note to Erowant, uh, the druid who is in charge of the glade, um, to see if anybody wanted to return back to Drakenvale Village. Uh, you went, and everybody had. I mean, it was it was just not not a terrible trip. No 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 combat or anything, and um, made it and presented the letter. Um, had a, had a nice session of people, you know, learning about different types of survival or archery or playing with children as they meditated, or pl- children playing with them as they meditated, whatever the case may be. Um, and then you all went to sleep and that's um that's where we ended last game um so this game um well i mean we don't know what vela was doing because vela wasn't here well vela was there brandon wasn't loser um Working and shit. Who does that? Um, 17 hours a day. It really gets to you at some point. When I was your age, I was already traumatized. Um, good times. <laughs> we can be traumatized together. Trauma buddies. Hooray. Um, no, I'm not traumatized enough to move to Florida. Um I'll stay here where it's uh, like 20 degrees out. Uh, oh, it's 39. Wow, it's heat wave. That's a heat wave? I mean, when winter properly hits, that's that's a heat wave. Um, Fair. I was really annoyed a couple weeks ago. It was like 80 degrees, and then the next week it was like 30. And I'm like, I need you to make up your fucking mind. This is which this is why I hate spring and fall because I'm ready for it to be cold. So I go outside in 30 degree weather in the morning, I'm wearing my hoodie, my body's acclimated to the cold and then by noon it's 70 fucking degrees out and I'm like, "No, I give my body time to acclimate. Pick a direction. It's a cock tease of winter really is what what fall is, which is why I hate fall and spring. And I I loathe summer entirely. Too hot and humid. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I mean, you know, dawn will hit. Um, everybody will will start waking up or activating. Um, Max is just standing there like doing nothing. Um, uh, I mean, yeah, it's uh, like uh, Bella's not fucking here. God damn it, Bella. Uh, not Bella, sorry. Uh, Callie. Because I think Callie was sleeping outside. Um, yeah, like, you know, there'll be like change of guards, and, you know, so some people are going to sleep, some people are, almost everybody's waking up, but there are some people that are, that are you know, switching out and going to sleep, and, um, kids running around and uh you know the fire the the big fire in the center is is getting you know lit so for for cooking and and whatnot um uh erawant will will once again invite you all to to sit around the fire you know for 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 breakfast um People still, you know, I think you have another day or two where people can make their decision about whether or not they want to go back to um, the village or if they want to stay here. Nobody's being forced to travel back to Drakenville Village. Um, 
just being informed that it, it's being rebuilt. And so if anybody wants to go, they can. Um, um, so after a little while, you know, food will be ready. It'll be, you know, everybody will get handed out. Um, Aaron, Aaron will have you all sit kind of close and she'd be like, have you heard the story of Darth Pelagius the Wise. Thank you. Darth Plagueis? Whatever. I was trying here. Darth, go, fu- Darth go fuck yourself? Darth, don't interrupt me or I'll kill you in your sleep? Probably. The Wise. The Wise. It's the Wise. Sorry. Probably. I forgot the Wise part. No, no. I'm going to kill you. You're going to be awake. Ooh, kinky. Yeah, for sure. Salted ice. Um, I hear that has like really horrible effects on the human body. Um, uh, so no, she'll she'll invite you over and have you heard of the Muffin Man? No. See, if you're gonna interrupt, make it funny. God damn it. Um, <laughs> have you? It was funny. You just didn't laugh. <laughs> yeah. So which means it's not funny. Duh. Uh, <laughs> oh, my humor is very broken. I love that falling toast, okay? Humor's oh. broken at this point. Oh, I love toast. Why does everything smell like toast all of a sudden? Um, just kidding. Um, have you heard of the dragon god? What do we need to roll to see if we actually know? Um. Do history. Anybody else gonna roll or? I will. I, you don't have to. I just I just don't want to sit here for ten minutes waiting for everybody to roll and then nobody else is planning on roll. I, I don't think that Bella's really paying attention to anything besides trying to fix her construct. No, you already would have fixed it. The answer is I know nothing. Fixing, aka upgrading. That's not the same thing. Fixing and upgrading are two different things. Um, plus, you, you can't fix it, or you can't upgrade it. It kind of has static abilities. Um, yeah, Falcon doesn't know anything, or Azrin doesn't know anything. Um, uh, Mugina, you are mildly, you are only familiar with the name, which is Dia Non Duel. Like you've, you've heard of the name, that there is a dragon god, and it's, that's its name. That's that's the extent of what you know. But that's more than everybody else. So, I'm oh, sure so you're, you're muted. There we go. Any chance you can put it in uh, chat so I don't spell it wrong? And that's why we put it in chat. I should have made it Dio. Nani! Should have been like Dio Nani. (laughs) Um, So she will start by, she'll start, be like, oh, like, okay, well, if you don't know, that's fine. Um, Long ago, the poor nation lived in harmony. No, wait. Um, fuck you. See, that's how you make a joke, Brandon. It's even worse because I just swallowed it up. I know. <clears throat> Game, set, match, motherfucker. Um, sorry, I can't not make references. It's who I am as a person. But, um, 
she will start by saying, long ago, um, as the myth goes, countless ages, and she will actually be cut off as um, a horn blows from the north. Um, and you actually see, like, all of, like, you know, there's people that are, like, the guards that were working at night do, like, shift or whatever, like, they're they're eating. They're obviously eating before going to bed and um, and whatnot. Um, like, they'll all tense up and, like, grab their weapons. Um, and kind of, there's kind of a flurry of activity of, of kind of getting all the kids kind of in one area and, like, anybody who has weapons kind of pulls out weapons and um, and it's kind of very, uh, weird, calm silence. Um, and then, uh, in from the, the North, um, of the, of the, the glade, um, some scouts will come in carrying a couple bodies, um, on like makeshift stretchers um and you know yelling for for healers um like healers we need healers um and they'll you know they'll go to a specific tent um and uh, once again then there's another flurry of activity is you know like people that have healing abilities kind of rush off to to help um one of the one of the people, one of the scouts will, will run over to Aeronaut, kind of acknowledge her and be like, um, while we're scouting to the north, we, we heard an alarm noise near the old, that old mine that's two, two miles north of here. Um, and so we went to check it out. And some things escaped and attacked us. Um, kind of some black, rocky, shambling stone things. Um, and and we, we, we didn't really want to fight them, but we were kind of in the way. They, they kind of went through us attacked some of us and kept moving. We left them alone because our arrows bounced off um, and then rushed here. Um, we've never heard an alarm coming from, from the old mine. It's, you know, been abandoned and we check on it occasionally, but we're, we're surprised that anything's happening. So there must be something going on there, but we don't have the manpower. Um, Aeronaut will um, like nod and acknowledge, like yes, okay. Um, I mean, I hate to ask this of you, adventurers. Would you be willing? That is very close, um, and we have to attend to the wounded. Would you be willing to go check it out for us? Verbal response is nice. <laughs> that sounds doable. Thank you. I know this is this is last minute, and I wouldn't normally ask, but if some of our kind of more competent got attacked and are kind of out of commission right now, then there's not much we could, you know, especially with the rest. Some of our guards are are sleep, you know, are are tired and it's, I don't know. I don't want to leave our, our, our glade unprotected in case those things come back, but also that's really close to us and we, having somebody go check it out would be appreciated. Um, um, yes, thank you. Um, Uh, one of the the um, one of the scouts will will offer to 
to show you where it is. Um, he won't get too close because he doesn't, he doesn't want to get attacked. Um, but um, past a certain point, like he's like, past a certain point, it's very easy to hear because there is a loud blaring alarm going off. So it'll be pretty easy to find when you're near. Um, it's just, it's a former mine that's kind of like, you, you know, decades ago, like part of it collapsed and we just left it alone. Um, we didn't even realize there's anything going on in there. Um, so he'll, um, if you, but if you need anything and you, you know, I mean, you have all your traveling equipment anyway. Um, um, so yeah, he'll, um, Mac, I mean, Max has all his stuff, uh, Callie has her stuff. Their stuff. Their stuff. Um, yeah, you're, I mean, your, your homunculus is fixed. It takes a long rest to, to make a new one. So it's, it's been fixed. Bella. Good stuff. Yeah. I mean, they don't have a whole lot of hit points, <laughs> but apparently I didn't I'm think they had to. I was more worried about the gem, if anything. Yeah, really. yeah, no, it would have been picked up because when, yeah, when you were you were kind of looting and checking out stuff, you would you would because you were brought back and healed, so you would have you would have. I'm not gonna fuck you over. You'd be like, you weren't here to pick up your gem, so it sucks to be you, fucker. Like I'm not that kind of person. So, um, yeah. So uh, the scout will. Well, it, I mean, it's, it's only, you know, like I said, it's two miles from there. So it takes you only like 30, 40 minutes of travel to get there. Um, when, when you're within, I don't know, like half to a quarter mile, you, you will hear like loud alarms blaring. Um, and, and they'll be like, this is where I leave you. I'm sorry. I need, I need to return. Um, and then they will kind of nod and then and then kind of haul ass back to um, the glade. Uh, you'll travel, you know, you travel the rest of the way. Uh, the like I said, it does it does look like a um, like a mine, like an old mine set up, but so, you know, you'll kind of make your way around to where, you know, be the, the buildings and the kind of the build. There are buildings, like outside buildings, but they're, you know, dilapidated now from decades of non-use. And, um, um, but down, you'll hear the alarm coming from the shaft. Um, and you kind of head down the shaft, you will see, um, Two kind of, well, it's, it's kind of like one of those meet in the middle kind of doors. It's it's only it only you know takes up a five foot square as far as the door goes, but it's it's one of those like uh, it's like a sliding door, but it slides and meets in the middle. Um, you'll see it's it's like you know like um, like hospital white, you know type of color, and and it's obviously metal, but it is just like it's kind of. It looks like it explode, not exploded out, but it was broken out. Um, That's not great. All right, let me. Uh, I will describe the first room, and then I will move you guys over to it. Somewhere? Where is it? Oh, right. It was in this one. I was like, where the fuck did I write it down? All right. Um, so it is a basic lobby uh, with a desk that appears to be for a receptionist against the south wall. The room is covered in debris and the bodies of the receptionist and two people appearing to be guards. 
the door from the west is broken into the room, whereas the door from the east is broken out of the room. Move you there. Should have moved you to the new map that's all dark and whatnot. Yes. Yep. Should be, able to, should be able to see now the top right side of the map. Okay. Let's get back in. Yeah, you're you're. Yeah, this is the entrance. I hope he's losing his game of table tennis. Falcon. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It does like it does really sound like he's playing the smallest game of table tennis. <laughs> uh, it does sound like that. That's why I kept going on mute. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, it doesn't actually sound that bad. Um uh, all right. Where's my token uh, again? What? How do I place my token again? So you, you go, name. yeah, go to your name in the journal, and then you kind of oh, click it, drag and drop. I'm not going to screw people out of being here. Um, although, as established, I should have changed the token for Max. Max is uh, currently a woman. She looks like a woman. Uh, she she has looked like a woman the whole time. Uh, yes. A woman orc, um, or an orc woman. That's actually how you say that correctly. I'm good with words. Well, I'm an engineer, not a writer. Um, okay. So you're in this room. Is there anything? What do you want to do? I'm looking at that desk. The desk. Okay, Smarty. I'm looking in the desk. Um, I mean, you just see. Oh, I think I didn't even see. I, I missed out on stuff. It's because it's been so long. I meant to work on stuff, and then school got frustrating. Um, see, that's how you do it. Roll an investigation check. See, that's how you do it. You're all really good on investigation. Check. Look, um, you ask me for a check, I'll give you a check. Um, I, I meant to come up with a name for the company that owns this, but I haven't came up with one, and I'm not going to come up with one on the spot. So there, you see some. Um, I mean, it's a lot of it's like torn and ripped, and and you know, there's covered in blood because there's, you know, three corpses in the room. Um, so uh, you'll see a logo, but you've, you've never really seen that logo before. You know, well, I guess you could roll, um, I guess, another history check. All right. Um, it's some kind of... Um, Chemical pharmaceutical company. Um, once again, you, you know the logo. Uh, you don't remember the name because there isn't a name yet. That's my reasoning. Um, <laughs> you, had to, you didn't roll high enough to remember the name of the company. Good job. Uh, <laughs> um, nobody else rolled because somebody got that 20 and then I'll have to come up with something for sure. Um, <laughs> but... Yeah, it's it's some kind of chemical or pharmaceutical company that that you've heard of, probably in you know in briefings back at home, or possibly commercials for you know some uh, drug that they produce for you know um, crap. 
the disease of desecration sickness. They actually they hold they have a a, a drug that helps combat or helps with uh, desecration sickness. Um, but it's just like like memo stuff. It's not like you like I said like you the logo is pretty much the only thing you can see. Like it's it is in memo format. But you know, there's there's a lot of stuff. And there's enough paperwork that has the logo, but and the computer that was here was also, you know, destroyed. Put the logo in Discord. As soon as I come up with the logo, sure. Like I said, I, I meant to come up with the, all this stuff, and then stuff got life got away from me. I'll write it down though. I'll write that I need to come up with the logo and name. Oh, I already found it. It's fine. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It's Abstergo. No, I would never do that. Fuck Abstergo. Fuck you, Abstergo. Was I watching through when I watched the, the Assassin's Creed movie? Like we were in theaters and we're watching it, and at some point, you know, when they're in their prison or whatever, and then the like the camera pulls out of the building in I think it's in Spain. And pans across, and you see the Abstergo logo. I audibly growled, like not not like, <sighs> but like I like I just it like it came out like I was like, <sighs> like like <laughs> I I so vehemently hate a fake company um, <laughs> because I played way too much Assassin's Creed. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's not fucking Umbrella. I had a feeling. <laughs> or maybe it is. <laughs> no, it's... Uh, uh, shit, what's the name? It's the, no, it's the company from... Uh, five. Tricell. <laughs> okay. Which was bought out by Umbrella, uh, or was is like a subsidiary of Umbrella, so it's like it's still Umbrella, um, but that's a little Resident Evil nerd thing. Okay, um, yeah, that's all you're able to find in the room. So, like I said, you have uh, a door to the west, e sorry, east, and a door to the west. Like I said, the door to the – sorry, it's, I'm, you think I'd be better with directions. The left door was busted into this room. The The right door was busted out of this room. Well, do we want to see where it came from or do we want to see where it went? Monster's officially caught my Joe now. <laughs> What was the mission? Do we eliminate or do we investigate? Both is good. Knowing where it came from might tell us a little bit about how to deal with it. Um, As Bella is going to start walking into that direction through the door that was busted in. Which direction, left or right? Left. Okay. I can put uh can put Sable out front. Very long corridor. All right. Sorry, a million things I have to keep track of. So I need I need a third monitor. Um. Okay, so that's. It's also trying to keep it. When it, when I had the thing that built the dungeon, or this map, I should say, it uh. It places the fucking numbers all over the goddamn place. So like, it's not in in a normal numerical order. Um, all right, so you, you walk down the hallway. Um, I'll show off. 
Um, so I assume that all of you have seen Stranger Things. No. I've yes. not watched a single episode. Okay, well, well, I'm not explaining it for you then. I have seen the opening to Stranger Things. I'm not explaining shit then. Okay. Is this um, something from season four? No, I've I've even seen past season one. Oh, okay. But there's the so you, you know the room right outside the portal in the the lab, or in the in the whatever that company's building they have like that they like that room right outside of one of the the tears that the people the flame. Room? Yeah, that the, they like flamethrower all the, the the portal all the time. I think it's the start of season two is actually you see them like flamethrowering the portal. <laughs> um, but yeah, essentially it's, it is like an observation room with like equipment set up. Um, except the door, that door to the south, um, the f- frame. Um, actually, um, you... T- I'll have anybody who wants can roll either uh, just a base uh, a smithing check or trying to think or just a general and just a general intelligence if if you don't have smithing tools. All right, so Vela, you have no idea, which kind of makes some sense. Um, uh, I'll say, uh, Aspen, it does. It looks sort of familiar, but you don't know what it what it is. You're like, okay, I've I've seen that metal before. You know, it has a distinct kind of chrome look to it, but you're like, I don't remember what it's called. But you, you are familiar of its existence, just not. Um, Lugina, you will know that that. That door frame is adamantium, um, and there are glyphs written on it, um, and there's equipment attached to it with a strange mural of fish on the wall. Um, the room has been rampaged through. Uh, there's lab equipment and three bodies that appear to be scientists and four security guards, and they are all strewn across the floor. Somebody here attempted to make shark puppy. No, that was a reference to the underwater temple in um, my my game, <laughs> where, where every room had a mural. Blue. Yeah, every room had <laughs> blue tile with murals. With murals on the wall. Yeah, that was one hundred percent what it is. It doesn't actually have any relevance. I'm not gonna pretend like it does. It was one hundred percent just a reference to one of the um, one of the dungeons in the. Um, I don't remember what book that is, module book that is. As when you like to punch things, how hard would yeah. it be for you to punch through adamantium? Sorry, there's also um, I forgot there there is a a door. You can see it. There is a door. Oh, you can, you're in it. Oh, you can, no, nobody's actually in the room. So I guess technically you should you shouldn't be able to see it. But there is there is a door broken through into this room from the left. That would be difficult. Adamantium is a very hard substance. So a real, uh, I'm going to be real with you. A certain part of me, the part that likes to live, kind of wants to go home right now. But for the children, Let's keep going. For the children! Vela would like to start investigating the bodies and seeing, like, how they were killed. Like, what she wanted. Um, severe blunt force trauma. Okay. Like it's, I'm not gonna like make you roll because it's very obvious. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> uh, you can certainly try. <laughs> she just walks off with it. <laughs> That's a way out thing, not a way in thing. But yeah, the you you will see that the door the doorway is there's just the frame. There's no actual door. I just put that there because there wasn't actually a connection here. For fucking reason. I mean, I'm not going to complain too much about maps I didn't pay for or build, but I'm going to critique. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a frame, and actually the inside of, like I guess the inside of where you can see into the room south of the adamantium door is entirely different structurally than the room you're in. Like this is like made into a room, you know, with wall like wall like put up walls and equipment and whatnot, like sensors and whatnot. Like going through there, it looks like, actually, I'm, um, no, I'll just give it to you. It, it looks like when you went into that dungeon, what do they call okay. these incursions? Uh, I'm terrible at this. They're, yeah, sure. Well, it's just the, dun the when the dungeon appears. Yeah, it's the it's I, I would like incursion. I guess makes sense for that would be if it doesn't have an official name. That's what I would call it. But it, it's like those like the cubes that came down in reboot. Not mm -hmm. the new reboot, the original. Like, so the, the not the rebooted reboot. Yeah, not it's not even a reboot for reboot. It's a whole different show, which is ridiculous because it's a prime opportunity to reboot. I know. Reboot. Just reboot squared. Exactly. All right. Any uh, any other questions or what? Bella Bella's examining bodies, so like I said, it's it's very obviously blunt force trauma. You said the door to the to the west is broken in. Yeah, it's broken into this room. Well, we started following broken indoors. We should probably continue following broken indoors. All right. So that's the one to the south that is broken in, or is that the one no. to the west? West. The one to the south is, is like I said, it's just a door frame. Okay. But, and like I said, so... Yeah, it's it's just a door frame in, in the wall, and it's open. Like, there's not even a door. It's just a frame, and on the other side is what looks like one of the dungeons. Okay, I'm gonna save all of us time. And I forgot to put stuff in this room, and I'm sorry. Is there anything in that room? There is. Um, this room looks like a laboratory. Uh, there is expensive looking equipment in the room. One of the machines is destroyed and a pair of black oily footprints leads out of the room. Hmm. Um, if you want to, anybody who um, can roll um, either alchemy if you have it, proficiency in alchemy kit or um, arcane. Like arcana? Would be you too. Arcana, yeah. Oh, I'm not, that's not a good roll. No, it's terrible. It's a pretty bad roll. I have proficiency in neither. Oh, wow. Aren't you an artificer? I didn't choose Arcana. All right. Two, two, two. I mean, you can still roll. Like I said, you could roll regardless, whichever one you want. Although, you know, you kind of need proficiency and tools. Makes much more sense for Vela to roll than, than me. You can both roll. Maybe you get lucky. Uh, 
What do I roll? I was trying to get my Zoom full screen again. There you go. Either Arcana or... Yeah, I guess it'd be Arcana since you're not proficient in either. Just for sake of it? Sure. Okay. That was that was uh, Callie. Um, shockingly, Falcon... or uh, Sorry, it's because you, it's your <laughs> your name, whereas everybody else's character name. Um, yeah, well. Uh, yeah, Azrin, you are surprisingly um, know what it is. Um, and so does so does Vela. Um, it it looks like this is equipment that processes and synthesizes some kind of special liquid into an ore like material. Um, and because, because of the nat 20, I'll actually give you that. Like, you're like, all right, turn some kind of thing to, into another thing. And there's this black oil. You, you, I would say, you know, you are in a, like not an investigator, but you are a, um, bounty hunter so kind of some deductive reasoning is is part of your job that you're like seen that oozy looking stuff before Mm -hmm. seen that oozy you know the oil on the floor plus this oozy looking stuff and you know it turns it into an ore you think that they are synthesizing um that goop that monsters and dungeons drop into alcar the that magic Oh, that, if they could do that, they could make a whole lot of money. <laughs> which, which then your, your deductive reasoning, you're like, all right, they, but where would they get, you know, they, they take that, that stuff that you get from dungeons and your brain's like, ah, oh, fuck. That's what the door is. It's a permanent dungeon generator. But they, they, they enchanted the adamantium door frame as a means of creating a place where the dungeon is guaranteed to open. This is less than ideal. They are taking monster byproducts and this oil to try and synthesize the crystal. The Alcantor crystals. The door is a permanent dungeon generator. We should not let them keep this. Who wants to go play with it? (laughs) Vel is very intrigued and wants to go play with this door now. Shall we go see what came out of this dungeon? I'm gonna follow you folks, but I gotta step away for just a second. Okay. Vela taking the lead, if I'm as player understanding this correctly, is gonna go back to the door and stand right in front of it. Okay. She's gonna try and like open it if she can find a way. Like, to... it is a door. It's way. it's a it's a door. Yeah, it's a doorway. Oh, it's a doorway. She... Yeah, it's not. That's why that's why you can see through. Is that gonna put like her arm inside? And... Sorry. It feels like putting her hand through a doorway. It doesn't. Right now, it's an open. It's not. It's not like we're walking through a mist or or, or planar portal or. The dungeons are actually there. Oh, she, she's it's just they, they they were you not here for the dungeon run episode? Did you miss that one? Is that I think I missed that one too. Yeah, so what happens like essentially what happens is that if there is enough of the Alcar, which is the the ore that they use to create magic items with, or at least as a fundamental component, 
um, if there's enough of it and then there's enough kind of like negative energy because it kind of absorbs magic. So if it, it absorbs enough kind of negative energy, it will create a dungeon will, will generate and spawn hmm. and it'll spawn like monsters that aren't actually those kinds of, like it, it spawned like animals, but they weren't actual animals. They were just like generated out of kind of this goop. Okay. And when they died, the, they would, you know, some of the goop would be there. Like it would dissipate rapidly, but there was some leftover goop. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> And then, but it will, once you defeat whoever the, um, or who or whatever is the, um, let's move him over here. Um, they're also, they're also over here. I just forgot to move them. Um, oh, you're not there. Get back over in your dead body area. Um, whenever you destroy whatever is the, I don't remember if I called it like the heart of the, the dungeon, whatever's the, the head of the dungeon, then, like, the dungeon itself starts, co- like, eventually collapsing. So you can't, you can't stick around. It's not, it's not permanent. Once you destroy that, the thing that's, gent- like, maintaining the dungeon is destroyed, it disconnects, and then the dungeon starts collapsing it on itself. I mean, you can go watch that episode. I'll do it in short, uh, like 30 second, one minute clips so that you can watch it on TikTok. Um, <laughs> the whole episode just broken down for. God, no, I, I don't make enough money for that stress. That would, oh, that would kill me. Bella's going to walk through and uh, kind of just start peeking around. Uh, you, I, I, I'm not trying to tell you where to go. But you do know there is one other room up that you haven't looked at. But but it's also not part of the dungeon. So whenever you, whenever you find what killed the dungeon, you can always check it on the way out. Like there's other it, party members for that. What? There's other party members to go adventuring. Bella's one track minded. <sighs> this is why Bella gets her ass kicked. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. This is why I'm opening up Bella Daycare. A Bella Daycare. A Baycare, as it were. Where they specialize in people like Bella. It's true. I mean, I was a BHP don't you just years. call that a lab? <laughs> All right. Um, whatever order you want to go in, go. Um. I know that. I mean, Vela said, yeah. Vela said that she's throwing herself into it. So, hundred percent. I gotta make sure Sable isn't much farther than you know, the minimum distance required for the map. Well, there's there's a room here. Calm the fuck down. You gotta give me time to fucking un- reveal things. I was making room for you. I'll have Max and Callie in the back, so. Uh, this this is actually just, this is, I don't want to, like, I'm not, this is just an empty room. Like, it's, there's nothing, no, no nothing in this room. If there's a chest on the floor, it's open, there's nothing in it. Da, 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 da. I mean, there's, I mean, you know the, bottom. there's not actually a chest. There's literally nothing in this room. I know. No, the chest is another callback to the. Uh, yeah, it's true. To the dungeon from before. Yeah. Maybe the real the chest. Know. Maybe this. Maybe the real chest had a friend. I was going to go check out this door over here. Let's split up, game. Okay. Um, I'm not a person that does trap doors, so I'm never going to. Th- I'd like throwing that one mimic at you was the only time I will throw a mimic at you because I fucking hate mimics. I'm not going to throw traps because that slows down the dungeon progression. So there are no traps. 
So you can check the door. You won't. You will never find a trap. And this isn't me luring you to a false sense security so I can hit you with a trap. I don't That's give a exactly shit. What a trap layer would say. I, I don't give a shit about traps. It slows down the progression of the game because once you get hit with one trap, now you spend twenty minutes searching painstakingly every fucking five feet of dungeon for traps, and it slows down everything. Even when you've never hit them with a trap, they slow yeah. down everything. It's just how pe- because people are like, oh, there's traps, so everything's Hell trapped. <clears throat> what? I would never. You would. All- I told you. It slows it down, doesn't it? Because we're checking for traps. Yeah, but you're sneaky enough to throw traps at us, though. That's the difference. Okay. Um, so that room over here, you will look in. Um, this floor is covered in square tiles, alternating white and black, and someone has scrawled an arrow pointing down on the east wall. But otherwise, that's that's it. arrow pointing down, you say. Mm-hmm. All right, I guess I'm going to... You said east wall? Yep. I'll take a look. Okay. I'm going to look at the floor, the wall underneath the floor, that general area, see if there's anything that's kind of stands out or possibly moves. Okay. Do you want to roll an investigation, I guess? Sure do. I really, really did. You really, really did. There isn't anything. Like, you thoroughly search, and it's just a random arrow on a wall. As I grumble and walk by Ezrin on the way back out, see, some people make good use of their art. I'm going to... <laughs> Some people just waste our time. <laughs> That's true. He he didn't create a trap that will hurt us. He created a trap that will just waste about ten seconds of our time. That hurts me. Maybe the real traps are the friends we made along the way. I don't like the implications of that, so we're gonna move on. Um, are these both like open? Are they? Yeah, all the, all the doors are, are going to be open. I don't. Once again, I don't give a shit. All right. So yeah, you have uh, something to the. All that right. Is, well, that is we have we have one person that will cause a problem, regardless of whether or not they're babysat. So we might as well babysit. Vela's like, you guys go over there. No, Vela, that's not how we do things. Okay. Vela, so are you sure you want to lead the way? Yes. Vela's 100% sure. I'm going to call this natural consequences, and uh, I'm going to allow it. Oh, <laughs> or the D&D equivalent. My move? You're gonna move, move. Okay. Try to like poke in just enough to where I can be there. Even though I feel like my homunculus could totally be on my shoulder. It's a size small, right? Yeah, I think so. If only I could have it on my shoulder in this game. Well too bad. Map management. Understand. You're riding on stable, got it. Yeah. Oh, wait, you can do that? Yes. I can't send mine to the back. Can you just send Sable's token? Uh, Let me see if I can do that real quick. Whoop. Thanks. There. Yours. Yours is in the back. Your homunculus should be in the back, too. So you can just ride on your homunculus. No, you can't. You can't actually ride on your homunculus. My homunculus rides on me. Yes. With its terrifying spider <laughs> legs for a cat. Terrifying spider legs. It's like on your head, just plumped on your head. Like a squishmallow. Just put it as fucking spider yep. legs. Uh, this is another empty room. Is 
Vela gets audibly like upset and is just like for a place that's supposed to be creating dungeons this is awfully fucking boring it's just empty come on Vela let's uh let's keep looking I'm sure we're gonna find something okay <laughs> I won't throw traps at you I'll just waste your time with a dungeon that's empty I'm gonna wait till he uh <laughs> <laughs> That's how Spike Flight now. I'll, I'll move people when. <laughs> They're in the back, so I'll, I'll move them when. How'd you send, in the, send that to back? It's a DM thing. Okay. I'm better than you. That's how. I'm okay with that. Um, halt. What is your uh, the two in front? I'll I'll allow Sable. What is your passive perception? Sable fourteen, and I think mine's the same. No, mine's twelve, but Sable's is fourteen. That's uh, Asrin as well. Sorry, thirteen. Okay. Um, so when you get to probably turn around this corner, you will hear, you will hear heavy breathing. Well, I know it's not Azrin. It's true. It's just Bella huffing and puffing because she's upset. <laughs> it's just echoing. Azrin will put their fist up and go. We have company ahead. We I'm gonna have jump off. Uh, ahead. I'm gonna jump off Sable. Send Sable first. I'm gonna do that like one one around the corner and then just like. Okay. Um. Save, make Sable roll a stealth check. Oh, that's what she's real good at that. Apparently. Um. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh. Technically, what is in there can't roll high enough than that. Higher than that. Okay. Uh. Oh, wrong button. It's supposed to be reveal, not high. I said reveal. Thank you. I really don't like whatever that is. When only half the token is visible. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I got distracted. Yep. Um, yeah. It happens. There is a big creature in there. That's kind of the the information you get back. So whatever it is 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 pretty big. And Sable really doesn't like it. Wanna try and talk to it? Just the blank, silent stare at Vela. I'll go so talk anyway. to you. Prepare for battle. Make it double. You like to be, uh, you like to be right up in the business. Why don't, why don't you go up there with Sable, and uh, I'll hang out back here with Bella and make sure that nothing happens to them. We'll be right behind you. We're not going to just send you in and, like, leave. <laughs> Sable will be in there, too. Sable and Max. Please. All right. Yep. Max. All right, I'm going to reveal the whole, the maps. Um, and then, um, yeah, whoever's, go whoever's going in. I don't know what the plan is. Max just like the plan is attack. Okay. 
I mean, we're all going to go, but there's some people that definitely want to be in there first. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, all right, so uh, it is the worst perception. So everybody, let's roll initiative. how good it feels to not oh hold on sable doesn't get their own initiative i don't think no no sable goes on my initiative yep yep so ignore sable that's my plan oh shit i forgot to pull this thing up shit all right well everybody has to roll initiative again because i'm terrible at this Oh, no, there it is. Oh, shit. Did I forget to clear it last time? I did. Mine should be 17. Yeah, this is I still have the bandits on there. Yeah, oh, take the table out of there. Get out of there. Yes, thank you. Callie, Asmin, Regina, Max, Ogre. Valid, did you roll? You did. I think I should. I accidentally took it off. I need you to roll again. And I'll, I'll put yours in. Okay. Why is it on there? Yoga really got on 19, though, huh? No. Uh, why is it? I don't think Bella. Yeah, Bella. Bella, Bella click their token before they roll the initiative. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. You have to click your token before. Click on like click on your token and then go into your character sheet and click initiative. There you go. Okay, so you originally uh seventeen. 17, all right. You get a 17. You get a 17. Everybody gets a 17. Um, Callie is an 18. Max is an 11. Ogre is a 16. Azure, you got a 14. Regina got a 17. Okay, that looks good. Should be. All right. Well, I mean, Callie's gonna just wait. Um, so many people rolled high that aren't the people that need to roll high. <laughs> Valor, is there? Are you gonna do any prep, or are you just gonna wait? Yeah, she's gonna pretty much just wait and if things kind of go south probably move towards the uh opening to where the big monster could possibly be just more or less just preparing do you want to move closer at least uh let me because you're you know here yeah I could like move here uh yeah i i'll there's many people in the way but pretty much uh That'll be as close as she gets for the moment. She's more or less just preparing the firebolt cantrip and just waiting. Okay. Regina? So, I'm actually going to get us started off right here. Debatable. Come right now here. And then I'm going to give it one of these. That'll hit. Good damage. All right. Mm -hmm. Solid damage. I like it. And then I'm going to give a command for 
um, Sable. Okay. Sable's going to come right in here, block the path. Give him a ha and a haya, and then you kick him. Sir. And then uh, yeah, yep. Gonna go kung fu panda. <laughs> That'll hit. Seven. All right. That's gonna make an angry panda face, and uh, hope that that does it. And that'll be it for me. All right. Um. I was going to keep it, it technically was sur surprise, so it now loses the surprise uh, condition. As if we had a rogue, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> but that's that's only well, no, it's it's on its turn, it loses it. So you can, right. and it, it, it has the condition until it takes its turn. Right, but if anybody hadn't done anything to get its attention yet, well, it doesn't matter if it hasn't gone. It still has until it much like a reaction. It doesn't get. It doesn't lose the the surprise condition until its turn. Right. But so it can be surprise. Surprise condition. No, it's still technically surprised until its turn. Okay, I think I follow what you're saying. I think we were talking about two different things. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I'm good. <clears throat> yeah, because it's a condition, not a round anymore. It's not a. We were talking fish, uh, fish tacos and regular tacos, and uh, they they don't need to be compared, so we're good. No, obviously, normal tacos are superior. We're gonna have a talk after this. We're gonna talk about it. <laughs> All right, my turn. Inspiration for me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's your turn. Sorry. Don't let us rob you of the experience. Okay, um, I'm gonna go here. Okay. And then I'm going to punch him some questions. Punch him some questions. Yes. That's, a, that's not how the saying goes. But yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, both of those were hit. Ask him if he has any dragon meat. <laughs> it's classic. <laughs> hey, you have any dragon meat? That's it's, my turn. That's a shame. <laughs> All right. Max move to this side. And then... Um, just... Swing with the longsword. Hit him one more again. That'll hit for eight damage. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. Uh, that that'll be it. So then we'll go back to Cali. Mm hmm. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Callie's loves meleeing things. Callie is going to. Um, I don't know how to play any of the their their abilities, so they're just gonna smack it with the quarter staff, two handed quarter staff. Wha! Yeah. Wha! Yeah. Good job, Callie. Oh, let me smack you once again. Oh, I don't know. I'm terrible. That's why Salem does the accents. I... <laughs> I'm terrible at it. Um, I, th I think Callie has a bonus action. Yeah, that's it. All right, Bella. Is there a possibility that Bella could peek around the corner and then cast Firebolt? I mean, you could stand there. Okay. I didn't know if the doorway was a permissible area to do so. Uh, I'm going to use Firebolt. I have to select the right tab now. Uh, 
Yeah, that'll hit. Oh, yeah. Uh, how do I do damage again? You click on the Firebolt word in chat. Oh, in chat. Damn it. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Not bad. No, it's good. I mean, it's 40%. All right, that's your standard. Do you have any... Technically, you could have commanded your your flying thing last turn if you'd wanted no. to. I'm going to keep it out of harm's way right now. Okay. I'm salty about that from last time. Uh, one second. I'm going to say that's it for now. Okay. Um, all right. Regina. Gonna give it one of these. Watch your heads. That'll hit. All right. Good damage. And uh, hang in there with me for just a moment. I gotta check something. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give a command to Sable. Stand in the doorway, give him one of those. How about that? All right. All right, Sable will tear into it and it will start disintegrating into a black goop. Blah. <laughs> oh, thank you. I didn't know it was dead until then. Yeah, I know. Could have just it could have gone into its second phase. Yep, phase two. <laughs> phase two. Jumps kick up. Everybody crits all the time. Great. Mm hmm. Which is bullshit against a monster that is able to use a million reactions. Isn't it great? Yeah. Can you tell that my favorite video games are Dark Souls? I don't mind second phases. <laughs> bullshit boss fights are what I'm all about. It's, it's more the fact that it's a monster that whenever you crit against it, it can swing at you. You're just mad because the charm didn't work. It still hasn't worked. <laughs> Everything we keep fighting is immune to fucking charge when I remember to use it. Yeah, I was gonna say you haven't fought a whole lot that can that you use it on yet. I mean All I right. don't think it would have worked on the cats. It wouldn't have worked on the statue. It Where wouldn't have worked on the ghost. The to the north. There is a door to the north. Um hold on, let me let me get the for this room. Once again I'm gonna take a vial, scoop up a yep. little bit of it, put it away. Okay, so while you're cleaning up the goop, you will actually find 40 copper pieces. All right. 40 copper. Mm -hmm. Throw that in our. Do we have a fat loot? I do you? I'm on it. I mean, it's not a lot of money, but it, it all matters. Oh, you do have. Okay. Yeah. I got you a loot one. Uh, um, did I give that to everybody? Yep. Yeah, all players. Okay. I just want to make sure that everybody can see it. Yep. Cause like some of them, like it shows everybody's, you know, token color or whatever. Whereas that one, it just shows blue. So I was like, oh. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm looting, so if somebody wants to scoot over to the door, I loot, you scoot. Loot, scoot, boogie. Bella's just going to brazenly walk past. I'm going to wait until you can get the quarters unshadowed. Um, What's Bella's perception? Passive? 
I believe it's a 12. Just let me one second. It's a whole ass 12. All right. You'll, you will, Azrin, you are familiar with the sound. You will hear some heavy breathing. <laughs> no longer. We have one more in the next room. I mean, if, if you're going to stand there, then I'm going to roll the perception against you, Bella. Uh, she's kind of not the brightest. She'd probably just walk straight in. Would Azrin try to stop Bella? Azrin no, it... is going to stop Bella. Okay. Hell yeah. So prob yeah. probably as you're trying to step by, Azrin would probably like throw out a hand to be like, oh, there, buddy. I'll move my tokens back. Probably to here. Maybe. To the left of Azrin. People uh, who yeah. they just need to be closer should go first. Token words. Okay. You got it. Um. Uh, I know you're there. Uh, uh, uh. Would you like to talk? I'm gonna eat you. That's not very nice. I would like to rage. <laughs> Have you ever thought about calming down and seeking therapy? I'm gonna eat you. Okay, you're gonna have to roll initiative again. Hey, Azrin, Azrin. I don't think it can fit through the door. Is the initiative thing all jacked up or yeah because i didn't clear it okay i haven't rolled yet so uh I'll although it clear. although it might actually replace yeah it replaces so you're good oh, okay it's unfortunate dude i'm i'm rolling hot today i'm really glad that uh really glad that i'm not the dm i'm rolling great today too <laughs> uh, okay. All right, Regina. If I step right here, can we see the rest of the room, please? Yeah, sorry. I'm going to... I got something. Hold on. How about one of those? That'll hit. Jeez. Your opening volleys are really good. <laughs> How'd that taste? High and iron. And then I'm going to squeeze right back <laughs> past uh, Azrin after you, my dear. And I'm going to go get Sable. Sable will once again stand in the doorway. Okay. And give him a little Kung Fu Panda. All right. That'll hit. Way higher than it's <laughs> our class. Too high. In fact, that's double. That's bullshit. You miss. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's that's all we're gonna do. All right. Asma. Okay. Apparently, Azrin is so Team 14. To edit, to edit yeah. So, uh, Azrin's gonna come by and punch him a question or two. Okay. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Yep. Yep, that's... Unfortunately, those will hit. There you go. I punched him a question. The one-two punch. It's not called the one-two punch for nothing, guys. <laughs> two questions in one. It's a twofer. It's a bogo. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Nope. Okay. 
You have to speak because you're very small on my screen. I saw you, so I saw you nod, nod. So, no. <laughs> but, but I, you're very small on my screen. Um, okay. Uh, Callie. Um, I think Callie has some kind of pew pew. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to use any actual spells. Um, short bow. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Callie's gonna there, and then uh, I'll say Callie will step back. All right, I did what I could. I just took pew pew You've been real quiet today, Callie. I have uh, I have a frog in my throat. I can Gross. use pew to make it feel better. Don't touch me. <laughs> I'm getting I love you. I don't know what their actual relationship is. I don't remember. It's been forever since the two have been in game together. <laughs> Bizarre love triangle with two people. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Vela, it's your turn. Uh, Vela's going to take out her flintlock. I believe that's what we called it. Yeah, it's a flintlock. And scooch in. And uh, you're going to shoot it in melee. Well, it's more. Well, I didn't know if I was able to shoot past Sable, so I didn't want to. Yeah, like, yeah, you, you can, can shoot always past shoot Sable. past Sable. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm going to get right there then. And then. Uh... Got a miss. Figures. Yeah. Just bang and out the reload. All right. Sable is specifically trained and programmed. The second they hear the of a gun, just <laughs> all four legs go out. <laughs> like he's like. <laughs> all right. Uh, that is going to be my turn. If only you had an infusion that. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> well, have, um, you, have you ever heard of the help action? If you have, you'd be more than happy to sacrifice your homunculus. Uh, maybe. The homunculus <laughs> has a lot to fill with. All right. Um, considering Azrin was the last person in melee to hit it, uh, it is going to swing its great club at Azrin. It will probably hit Azrin. Well, okay. Yep. Um, I'm going to remind Curtis that Sable has an ability. Sure does. If you wanted to use it, since it's a reaction. Sure does. Bam. All right. You will use that and distract it enough that its swing will will miss. Do we? Does it want to swing a second time, or is it just you keep the second roll? I'm blanket I'm, statement. Blanket. Yeah, it's. For this, I because I knew that it could do that, and I'd like, <clears throat> you know, I didn't know, you know, artificers are new for you, so I didn't. It's more what's of your, a. What's your meta ruling? For this, I'm giving it, it its disadvantage as is, so it's getting the twelve. For future. Yeah, generally for future, no. Got it. Okay, that's I mean, that's what I was asking. Yeah. I just wanted to know. Yeah. Um, had, uh, yeah. I would, I would, well, you could do it. Like, I would just, well, it's, it's one of those situations that, you know, I didn't say whether or not it hit or, you know, it's, it's a. Well, it's more, there's one enemy. If there were three or four, I would not automatically use it. Right. Yeah. I'll take not getting hit. Yeah. All right. Uh, and that gives the, the finger wag. No, no, no. All right, Max. Hello, big guy. 
What did the sword say to the ogre? Whiff. Why the long face? Because it's a long sword. Get it? You'll get there, Max. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Apparently, Max has the... Uh... No, he's not even here. Damn it, Salem. Has the uh, XBRF 317, 317, 317, 317, 317 uh, programming. <laughs> Terrible jokes. All right, back up to the top. So it's Mugina's turn. Okay. Well, see, now I don't have anywhere to stand. Um, you, I would say that you can kind of – you can shoot Get from there. Corner. I will give you disadvantage, though. Because yeah, that's okay. ar around a corner and a ton of people are in the way. Like, if it's just well, – if there's some people, I wouldn't. But it's it all – yeah. 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 yeah, but it's kind of it's kind of two things, so. Sorry in advance, everybody. You'll you'll be trying to compensate for everybody, and you'll shoot. You'll just shoot too high. Shoot the ceiling. Yeah. Anything else um, for, for you? I'm gonna have Sable do Sable things. Okay, so I I haven't mentioned this before, but as long as uh, Sable will follow whatever the last direction was. So oh. if you uh, turn one, you use your bonus action to say attack. That's Sable good. Sable will continue attacking. Until the thing is either dead or – because, I mean, it, Sable has a, an okay intelligence, right? Like, I don't remember what their intelligence actually is, but it's okay. not – Yeah, I thought that the way it was written said uh, – it, it, it is – like, I mean, that's – I mean, that's animal intelligence sort in realm, but it's, you know, atta attack dogs. Like, you know – don't have any bonus actions. It's fine. Yeah, it's – yeah, <laughs> but it, if you get one in the future – yeah. It, essentially, if you want to change it until the th it, it will keep attacking until you tell it otherwise, or the thing is dead. It won't. It won't attack something else until you direct it. So if if there was another creature, and you killed it, and you spent your action, and then to do some your bonus to do something else, it wouldn't then attack. It would just wait because you technically didn't give it the attack action on the other creature. Just for future reference, but that's yeah. But it's that's fine. It's, Sable can swing bad about a swing. Okay. Noise. Sable's feeling spicy today. Very spicy. She's a good girl. Uh, you do. T I mean, you haven't gotten hit, but you do actually have the the tattoo. Which is a bonus action. Oh, that's true. That's so. true. All right. Anything else? Um, I guess since there's two things blocking the doorway, she's just going to come over here and make sure it can't move at all. Okay. That's fair. All right. Azrin? I guess I'm going to one-two punch. One-two punch. Punch. Right, that'll miss. That will definitely miss. That will hit. All right. Anything else? Uh. It's gonna go back up. No. Okay. Uh. See, I think I'm also playing Callie in my head more as Elkin than Callie. That's true. We see a lot more of Elkin lately. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Um, uh, Callie will shoot, too. Uh, Callie will have disadvantage as well because kind of still shooting at, around a corner. <laughs> I mean, Callie could move in base, but now like can improve. Short bow. Flies off. Hits exactly where your, your bullet hit. It's the exact same spot, which is almost impressive. 
Uh, son of a bitch. Oh. It's not tracer rounds. It's not tracer rounds. You're not supposed to shoot where it goes. No, did you? Technically, tracer rounds just show you where the bullets are going. They're not supposed to really necessarily follow the tracer. It's one in every five, so statistically speaking. Anyway, Bella. <laughs> Bella is going to attempt to shoot again. Once the thing loads. Yep, that'll hit. Finally. <laughs> yep. Bella, is your gun broken? It shoots accurately, but not hard. That's what you pick for picking an inferior subclass. <laughs> I'm just like, I've been thinking about using my armor ability, and I was just like, nah, I'll leave that for a different time. All right, anything else? I mean, once again, you still have your homunculus that so you can have it directed to do anything. Yeah, it's going to, once I can actually move it, it's going to move right here. And then... It can be in the same square as you if you don't want it to be based. Ah, uh, it's going to be base. I can attack with it as a bonus action, correct? Yeah, but it's, I think it only has a ranged attack. Ranged uh, up to 30 feet. I did not realize that. Do you... Do you know what the help action is? Uh, yeah, it gives a advantage to another character, correct? I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will have Gadasu do that to Max, since Max is technically next on the allies' turn list. Okay. All right. Ogre will, since you were the last one that swung at it, it will swing at you again. Uh, Azrin? Are you going to use your reaction? Or, uh, is Sable going to use the reaction? Yeah. Yeah, there's only one enemy here. Doesn't matter. Misses horribly again. And I helped. I helped! <laughs> sure you did. You're doing great. <laughs> it really missed. Uh, uh, stupid stick. Um, all right. And then Max will... What did one tree say to the other tree? Thank God for advantage, huh? Doesn't matter. It's dead. You've been oaked. <laughs> it's, its joke is really what killed it. <laughs> I, I couldn't think of a fucking joke, so I was like, I'll just go with something dumb. <laughs> uh, and then it, once again, it starts turning into goop. Oh, uh, Curtis, if you want to, I assume you're going to do the same thing. Um, for the first one, roll 2d4. Hold on one second. 2d4? Yep. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, da, da. Bam. Jesus. Okay, so you'll get eight ounces of goop from the first one, and then roll it again for this one. Let's say it's a, all right, so you get three ounces of goop from this one. We'll say it's, do I know, need to? Do they seem to be different? No, it's the exact same kind of goop. Okay, so I can track like a an overall amount. Yeah, of yeah, goop? yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I was just it's it'll be a D four for a, a medium size. I'm not gonna go small. Mm -hmm. uh, like so, it's medium size is a D four, large is a two D four. Like essentially, for each size above medium, it adds a D four. So if you, you ever roll for the original goop, no. I think I, you weren't you weren't expecting it, so you probably only got like one or two ounces at most. 
Whereas these ones, you knew what was going to happen, so you were ready. Okay. I don't remember how much I said for the original group anyway. You probably wrote it down. All right, so that so this bleh, turns into group. Okay. Um, make sure that's this. Okay. Yes, we head back. Hold on. Uh, several square holes are cut into the west wall, and a large demonic idol with ruby eyes sits in the northeast corner of the room. I've seen this on the cover of the player's handbook a long time ago. <laughs> Fucking Cora. This looks mildly important. Do we want to check out the rest of the dungeon and come back for it? So, because of how much it is, uh, there is... Um, because I'm, I'm not opposed to giving... I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just post it. Hopefully it, it copies it. Uh, ha ha! You find a whole bunch of treasure when it dissolves. Although none of it is, is actually the stone. The... But well, it's, if you leave and you don't like, if you leave and don't come, like you can't run back here to try to grab shit when it's collapsing. Got it. All right, I'll throw that in the loot unless somebody else is already on it. It seemed like you were in charge of that, so I wouldn't. Well, I was more speaking to the, the others. Well, this was a little disappointing. We're going to check out the... Um... A wall or I mean anybody who wants to investigate can roll investigation. Um I will but I need a moment. Okay. Uh, I'm actually not gonna bother because somebody else has already got a ridiculous roll. Well you don't know technically. So, well, I mean, I'm if you were, if you were going to, things up. If, yeah, if, I mean, but if you planned on inv rolling an investigation, you'd still do, roll an investigation. Yeah, I do. I do want to. I just didn't want to waste people's time. Okay, I've got it all saved. This is Callie. Callie. No, no, we're all doing it. Max is rolling. Oh, Max, cool. <laughs> so. <laughs> Vel is confused why everyone's searching for something or looking around. She's like, am I, am I supposed to be doing something? Okay, so... Um, um, both Asgrin and Max will be... Like I said, it's, it's the west wall. Um, while investigating, you will notice that there are um, notch marks under each of the holes, like there are four holes, and very faintly, you will see like, like you know, it's it's one, two, three, four, but under the second one there are three notches. Under the fourth one there are two notches. Under the the third one there's one notch, and under the first one there's four notches. Um, so you'll kind of poke in the hole, and it's kind of a a button, like a pressure button thing um in i i mean I, I don't want you know max rolled well too so i don't want you know if if you're smart enough like hit them in a sequence <laughs> um you'll hit you'll hit them in a sequence um and then there'll be a clicking noise and actually from 
a part of like that part will actually like slide down and back and then out of it will come an iron chest. We have the treasure. And does this turn into goop also? I mean, you have a whole fuck, it's a whole fuck ton more goop. Uh, You'll also notice that the, the ruby eyes are actually just glass. Uh, the, the demonic entity. Or the demonic idol with ruby eyes is actually... It's just like fake ruby. Oh, it's DMG 187 is what's supposed to be after the potion of healing. Oh, wait. Didn't show that. Oh, there's also... Sorry. I was like, it, it randomly rolled treasure for you guys, so I'm going to give you the treasure. <laughs> like, uh, DMG what? Uh, DM 187. Yeah, 187. I mean, it's potions. They're very easy to look up. Place is loaded. Oh, you can carry on. I'm just finishing up the notes. Well, it's, you said you have to be done by three, right? I do well at near around three. Well, I know. I just don't want you guys to possibly get into another fight that might take longer than. Gotcha. So, so uh, and I don't want to, you know, do too much more without uh, Salem being able to play. Right. Um. So we'll. I know it's a little bit shorter than normal, but we'll call it there. Okay. Um. I mean, you got a bunch of loot, so hooray loot. Yep, it's all saved. Thanks, Tim. Yeah, thanks, Tim. Thank you, Tim. We couldn't have done it without you. With the, the help action. Uh, Tim, Tim, you know, wants to, you know, use the help action in the comments. That'd be great. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And now you get to listen to the outro song. And that's the outro song. Yeah.